Hi friends, you have been working on personal possessive adjectives in Latin this week and um, I want you to understand you are working on probably the trickiest concept in our book. Why? Because you're actually working on three different things. You're working on pronouns, which are one of our trickiest concepts because they need to be declined and match in gender number case. You're working on possession, which is its own tricky item sometimes because you need to know who is doing the possessing and what is being possessed. And number three, working on adjectives, which can also be one of our trickier subjects because there are several different endings that can be related to first, second, or third declension. And they also must match in gender number case. So the thing to keep in mind is it's important to sit down and work with the answer key nearby so that as you're working with each one of these concepts, you work an exercise, do the next exercise, check the answer key, and so say, hmm, why does this have a different ending than I would have put on there? And see if you can work it out in your mind. Um, Magister Drown does give us sh a couple of short videos. I wish that she gave us a little more information and that some of the information was a little more clear. So I think to accomplish that, I wanted to write down for you some of the most important things to remember. So if you're dealing with personal possessive adjectives, it's a puzzle. It's a fun puzzle. You just have to take the time to work it through. And if you can remember these tips, you will be well on your way to handling these well. Okay, so here's what I want to talk about. Most important things to remember, okay? Thinking about adjectives. Adjectives must agree with the noun they are modifying in GNC. Magister Drown in our book tends to say that adjectives must agree with their noun in GNC. This is true, but what she means by their noun to be clear is it's the noun that's being modified. Okay, that's going to come in handy as we're thinking about possession. Okay, so bear in mind adjectives must agree with the noun they are modifying in GNC. Okay, exactly the same rule for possessive adjectives. They must agree with the noun they are modifying in GNC. That's important, and you're going to see why as you work with those, okay? Um, possessive adjectives show quality. So that means that they are coming after the noun that they are modifying, okay? So think about that. It's important to think about where that placement is in the sentence, okay? Adjectives that describe their noun in quality come after their noun, okay? Uh, endings of the adjectives and the nouns they are modifying do not always match. They are not always the same. So they are matching in gender, number, case, but they are not always matching with the same ending. Remember why that is. That's because um, these personal possessive adjectives are going to be using first declension endings for anything feminine, second declension, declension endings for the masculine and the neuter. Well, you guys have just learned fourth declension nouns. So what if you have uh, a third or a fourth declension noun that's being modified by a, um, an adjective? You would be putting a first or second declension ending on it. Remember? So that's why the endings don't always look the same. It is perfectly fine to sit with your charts all around you. That's what I do. I look at the charts that she gives us in the book. For instance, the charts on page 494 of the plurals, of the ours and the your plurals, 
I just keep that chart in front of me. It's, it's not hard. They're all the same first and second declension endings that I already know, but um, it's just easier for me to work with that and make sure that I'm picking out the right ending in terms of plurals and cases. Okay, so the last tip that you should remember, I have it written in red, is remember this point, and it goes back up here to these points, okay? The possessive adjective agrees in gender number case with the noun it is modifying, not with the person who owns the noun. In other words, um, this may be my paper. I might be feminine and singular. The word for paper might be feminine and singular. Therefore, my endings are going to match and my GNC would match. That's just a coincidence. Because if this is his paper, so let's say I say that this is David's paper, David would be singular and masculine, but paper, the noun, is feminine and singular. His needs to match the noun. His needs to match the paper. In other words, his, that personal possessive adjective, would be matching in feminine singular, not masculine singular. It's the same with singulars and plurals. If I have um, several books, I may be singular. Okay, they may be my books. However, my noun is plural, which means that my adjective has to match the noun it's modifying, which in this case is plural. So even though, so the my might be referring to just one of me, but the noun is actually referring to multiple things. I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm going to show in the next short video a couple of examples so that you can have that idea. But again, if you remember this, you're, you're remembering all the right things. The possessive adjective agrees in GNC with the noun it modifies, not with the person who owns the noun. Okay? See ya.